So in this video, we will be taking the integral of the inverse tangent function or arc tangent of x using a method called integration by parts. The integral of arc tan x dx using integration by parts, which is u times v minus the integral of v times du, where u is any easily differentiable function and v is essentially where you cover up your u and you integrate whatever it is that's left. So we have our u. What we're going to do in order to take this integral is we're going to set arc tangent of x as our u. So u is equal to arc tan x. V is going to be whatever you cover up. You're going to cover up your u and then whatever it is that's left, up, uh, left over is essentially your v. So if we, were to, if we were to cover up arc tan x, all we'd have is the integral of dx. And that is equal to x. Now, all we need is the derivative of our u, which is du, and the derivative of arc tangent of x is 1 over x squared plus 1. Now, all we need to do is start plugging things into their place in the integration by parts formula. So we got u times v minus the integral of v times du. u times v will be x times arc sine of x, uh, arc tangent of x, sorry arc tangent of x minus the integral of v times du. So our v is going to be x and our du is 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. And this will be x over x squared plus 1 dx. And now this is just a matter of evaluating this integral using a substitution where it is that u will be our x squared plus 1 so let's go and ignore this part of the integral for now. Let's just focus on evaluating this. So u will be x squared plus 1. du will be 2x dx. Therefore, dx is equal to du divided by 2x. So if we wanted to rewrite this integral, essentially what we'd have left is the integral of x times du divided by 2x in the place of dx, du divided by 2x, and then divided by our initial u. So this is, this will cancel out the x's. All we have left is we can pull out a half in, out in front of the integral. So the half can be pulled out. All we've got left is du divided by u. And this is one of the simple integrals that you're expected to remember. If you were to integrate du over u, you would get the natural log of u. Absolute value, of course. So this will become half ln of absolute value of u. So what we've got left over is our initial u was x squared plus 1. So we can substitute this result into this integral over here. So this will be minus a half ln of absolute u. And if we wanted to convert everything back to in terms of x, we would have x arc tangent of x minus a half ln of, our u is right over here, so this is the absolute value of x squared plus 1, and then to top it all off, plus c. And that is our integral using integration by parts.